So how many times have you had to create compelling imagery like this one based on technical documentation? Let me show you how to do it from AutoCAD into Sketchbook Designer by sending this canvas in AutoCAD into Sketchbook Designer. Right now, all my vector layers are in Sketchbook and there's another layer called Paint2, which is basically all the white piece of the canvas. Using the magic wand and on, to on top of Paint2, I can select all those pieces of sky and just delete them. Now, I will import an image of sky, so I can use that as a background. And there you go, here's the sky, and with Sketchbook Designer's Gizmo, I can do uniform and uniform scaling. In this case, I did uniform scaling, and I'll just uh, put that layer behind Paint 2 layer, so it really belongs to the background, as, 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 if, as it was real sky, right? So once I'm done with that, and I just can tweak a little bit the, the gizmo and uh, just move around the sky a little bit more, now I will proceed to create some transparency on the, on the glass, on this particular piece of the glass. So I, something interesting to do or very useful to do is just to rename layers. So if you're going to have many layers, it is good to do that. And now again on Paint 2 and using the magic wand, I can now again select all the pieces of the glass panes, which we are basically going to delete from the canvas, and we're also going to create some effects that, that, that look like glass on top of that. So let's create a new paint layer, which is going to be called glass this time. And there's a little piece of glass that will be seen between the core, right? Uh, just by doing that line there, that selection, I can very fast create a selection that I can now subtract with a rectangular selection. So I will just remove those little pieces there, here and there. There you go. So now I have all the glass that I need to take out. So again, on Paint 2 layer, I will just press Delete, and I actually see the sky. But I need I need some, some level of materiality on the glass, so it really does look like glass and not just a, a railing. So by using the Gradient tool, I can, as you can see now, I, I, I can just tweak the values and the colors by clicking those controls. I can add more controls along the gradient and go back to the color wheel and with the eyedropper or just selecting colors, just add new colors. I'm going to add some white again, right? So I can have some effects like, like glass and another one with the light blue, which can, of, of course, then I can just move around, rotate and make any kind of deformation I want. Once I have this exactly where I want, I can now apply some transparency to that layer. So it really looks like there's a sky in the back, there's a glass, there's something there. And this was just one piece of what it takes to get to this kind of imagery. Thank you very much.